Welcome back to Ask the Techies. I'm Dee Lee Beard, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the new iOS 4.2. Two, that's for Apple devices such as the iPad. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that and some of the new features that are in there so you know whether you should bother installing that update or whether you might regret doing it because it breaks some things. For instance, one of the things that it breaks that I was disappointed about was the little um, lock orientation button on the side, on the side of the iPad. Uh, there's a little button on the side that allows you to lock the rotation so it doesn't rotate on you when you, when you rotate the thing around. Um, they made it a mute button, the same as it is on the iPhone 4, so it would be a little more consistent. However, that means that the screen's going to start moving around on you, and that's going to be a little bit irritating for some of you, and you really wish you had that back. Well, I'm going to show you how you can get that back. What you can do is, what you can do is double-click the round button, swipe down here to the left, and there's a way for you to lock the orientation. And so you can get it in whatever position that you want. And if I want to lock it in this up position, I just tap on that, and now it's locked. You can tell by that little padlock icon that it's now locked to this location. Do that. Got my icons. No matter how I do it, I can't get it to go back. So that's a way for me to still lock it into place. So if you like it in the up way mode as opposed to the landscape mode, you can make sure that it doesn't switch on you anymore, just like the switch on the side. It's really hidden. If you didn't know to swipe that a little bit to the left, that'd be really confusing. Keep watching Ask the Techies. I'm going to give you more tips on the new iOS 4.2 from Apple.